So T.O. was on FS Huente. He was on uh, Undisputed with Shannon Sharp and uh, Skip Bayless, which I enjoy that show more than First Take. I don't even really watch First Take anymore. I don't watch it live. And I, when I say I don't watch it, that means I don't watch it live. When I'm going back and just watching clips and segments, I do that maybe three times a week. But undisputed, I probably go every day and watch it. Uh, segments of it because I, I I don't have I can't watch them live. I don't have the time. I'm at work at that time. But he was on there and and he was you know he confronted Skip and him and Skip talked and uh, pretty much Skip said everything he said about him over the years. Even when he was at ESPN, he said about uh, T.O. and in his face, and that's what I like about Skip. No matter how much. You probably think he's crazy and full of it sometimes. He doesn't back down from what he says, and, and that's a good thing. Don't Not being phony or anything like that. But, um, title of this video is, is Tara Owens, you know, Hall, Hall of Famer or not. Uh, let's be honest, anyone who says he's not a Hall of Famer, they're a complete idiot or they didn't watch football. Um, Skip says he's Team Obliterator. He's not a Hall of Famer. Because of his antics, uh, you know, team to team and stuff like that. But when I go there and I and I think about, you know, me being born in 92. And, uh, you know, just the great receivers that I got to see from a point of where I knew what football was. And I, I understood it well for a kid to being an adult. And where I'm at now in front of his camera, Terrell Owens is one of the best receivers that I've ever seen. Uh, I got to see Jerry really late. I didn't, you know, really, really late. So maybe 99 until he retired in 04. You know, 99 to about 04. But Moss and Terrell Owens are the two receivers that I got to see completely, you know. Um, when I sit there and I'm looking at their stats, in all time, in all time list, T.O. is third in touchdowns and he's second in receiving yards. No one's ever going to catch Jerry in, in yards. He has, I think, 21,000 or 22,000. And he played 19 seasons. Jerry Rice played 19 seasons and Randy Moss and Tara Owens played 14. So when I sit there and I look at it, I say, he has some of the best numbers a receiver can possibly have. Um, how can you not say he's a Hall of Famer? Uh, so what they're doing now with T.O. is, for all the nonsense that T.O. did, and, and, and the thing about it is, when you're a loudmouth when you rub people the wrong way, um, the media will, it will be times where you're not, you're not being a diva receiver or being a loud mouth or being whatever. There will be times where the, where the media will twist your words just because it's you. It's kind of like a person who, you know, they're never mad, they're never angry until one day something hits them and you like, and you say, you know, this person's never like that. Something, someone did something f to this person to make them look like that. When you have a person that's a loud mouth and a diva receiver like T.O. And, and Moss and some of these other receivers, um, you know, people that call, these players that cause, is cause issues in, in, in the locker rooms, it's easy for the media to twist their words and have the media believe them and make up false stories and false this and that. It's, it's easy. Um, so it, 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 those things do happen. So now Randy, uh, Randy not Randy Moss, Terrell Owens, he's, his career is over. The last thing for him is the Hall of Fame. And he has upset through all his career the people who hold the gate, the, the gatekeepers of the Hall of Fame. And what they're going to do, he's going to get in, but they're going to make him wait. They're going to make him wait a few years. I think it's maybe 2010, 2011, 
How long has he waited? Is has it two times gone around yet? Or just been one time? I can't remember how many times once or twice so far. Um but they're gonna he's gonna get in. They're gonna make him suffer, but he's eventually gonna get in. It that's gonna is it's because of what he did. They're gonna make him pay. When you make when you when you have you know when you piss off the gatekeepers, the GMs, the owners, people like that that probably don't understand you or, or what now, whatever it is. They're like I said, they're they're the gatekeepers. They're they're the people are that are that are putting their names on your checks and things like that. Like my favorite player of all time is Allen Iverson. Um at the back of end, at the back of end of Iverson's career, could he have been on a bench, given some teams some minutes? Of course, but throughout his career, Iverson pissed off some GMs and some owners, and the GMs and the owners and all the front front office personnel around the league. They they have a bond, just like the players have a bond, just like us fans have a bond between each other and they talk and what happens is you you don't get picked up nobody wants you and we all knew that even at Teal's back end of his career Teal could still play he went to Cincinnati still he still was great went to Buffalo still was great there was no question about it but those are the people they're, they're the ones that signing your contracts not signing your contract, you're signing your checks, and those, like I said, man, those are the gatekeepers. So he's gonna get in. They're gonna make him wait. I think it's, I think it's pretty much crazy because he's not a criminal, uh, nothing like that. He just was a loud mouth that sometimes people didn't understand him. Sometimes he, he brought it on himself. But at the end of the day, he's one of the greatest, and they're gonna, he owe. At the end of the day, he owe. So. Um, that's just my thoughts on it, man. Tio's gonna get in, but they're gonna make him. They're gonna make him wait. And you know, when you're an athlete and you upset GMs and front office people, and and you make you so you make the team look ridiculous. You make your sub look ridiculous. Sometimes you try to be good, but then the media twists it, and it, and that's just out now. You're a loud mouth and you're this and that, and then the media makes up a story when you're not trying to be that. You're that. So. He owe right now, so he's right now he's paying what he he owed back for all the years that he uh he should have been quiet. So that's that's all that's going on now, man. Get in the comment section, and uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask you because it's it's a it's a it's a fact. He should it's it's, it's he should be in the uh, Hall of Fame. But uh, who would you rather, Randy Moss or T.O. Um. Matter of fact, let's make this really good. Put Jerry Rice in there also because for my money, 6'3", 225 pounds, a guy that don't had no problems running across the middle, no problems blocking. Um, Teal, I would probably take over Moss. Uh, Moss had those long bombs that looked really well, but Teal, 6'3", 225, might take Teal. Guys, get in the comment section, like, share, subscribe, check the playlist, movie reviews, reaction videos, sports content like this. T.O., man, should have never wore a jacket on the show today, but other than that, man, love watching T.O. play. Entertaining as hell, great player. Uh, guys, until the next video, I'm out.